Right. Let's get the hell out of this, shall we? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hello. Small, um, bowl hair cutted person. Um. This is going to be an interesting experience. This is going to be an absolute mess trying to hold my um, keyboard in the right manner, but never mind. So. <laughs> wow. Okay, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to um, Obusite. I think I think this is called. I'm not entirely sure. But... Oh, I can climb. I can climb. Okay. I didn't realise there was quite so multi talented. Um, well, go on, go up. Thank you. Um, Yes, welcome to something called Obvious Sight, which I downloaded a while ago, um, completely forgot about, suddenly discovered and thought, goodness, this is overdue to be recorded, um, and, and here we are. Oh, goodness, and there we go, down onto the floor. Right. So, this isn't what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. I'm guessing I shouldn't stand in A, the rat droppings, or B, the rat traps. So, where am I to go? Because I can't jump over this. Leave this to us. What, what, what does that say? Leave this to us, Sonny. You ought to be out of London. Okay, I'm going to guess that's about relocating children during the Blitz. I haven't got a clue. Do I need to throw something? Because it seems like the main gameplay mechanic of this is um, causing me to have an achy arm. Because you need to press M and L, which are completely the wrong side of the keyboard. But never mind. Maybe I could move a box, perhaps? If I could grab a box. I could then use it as like a stepping stone to get over these. Or could I? No, didn't this seem about crouching? Yes. I can crouch down just far enough to impale my grey matter on the spikes. Never mind. Right. <laughs> Let us keep going, and 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 just admire the wonders of this haircut. How long must your hairdresser have spent on that, my friend? I don't know. Right. Let's try. No, let's not go up there. I think it's going to be this door, right? This seems like a, a little bit like a door. Oh, it's a ladder. Oh, right. Sorry, where I come from. Ladders don't look like a little boards on wall. But, uh, never mind. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Nice to do something a little bit different. This reminds me a bit of, um, Inside and uh, Little Nightmares and, uh... Very much, very much getting a Little Nightmares vibe right now. Why are your trousers of different lengths, you strange man? Again, the radio broadcast seems to be in an old-fashioned British accent, so I'm assuming that uh, this is meant to be somehow set in uh, in London during the Second World War. How small am I? I oh goodness! Oh right, good. All right. Thought I'd gotten myself stuck for a moment then. Um, yes, I am very, very small. Can I run? Yes, a little bit. Good. That's another contortion my hands have to do in order to try and um, do this. Nice hat. Be a bit too big for me, though. Okay, where am I to go? Presumably I can't go through these doors, because I wouldn't be able to reach the, um, wouldn't be able to reach the knob. And as we all know, you cannot achieve anything in this life if you cannot grasp a knob when the, uh, when the situation demands it. Right, let us go through this little mouse hole and see what we can find in here. Ah! The alcoholic mouse hole. What the hell is this? What is this trying to tell me? Is this trying to tell me to take something and throw it? Take one of these bottles and throw it at something? Okay, that seems like a fair enough plan. What am I throwing it at? Can I go up the stairs? Oh, goodness. Yes, I can. Okay. I spy a slipper. I don't possibly know what that could do to help me, though. Hmm. It must be some sort of target. Actually, there's like a... You can't quite see this, and I apologise for that. There's like a big orange button above this door on the right here. Would you just climb... Oh, no, you can't do that, can you? Hmm. 
This is going to be a pain on the butt trying to control this. Um, ah, well, that was a lot more successful than I expected. Can I have this shoe? Please? Please may I have the shoe? No, no, I apparently may not have the shoe. All right then. Um, well, that didn't work. I've fallen and broken my tiny ankles. What's the Travis thing? Okay, so where the hell am I going? And where am I throwing this this bottle? It must be what this is to do with. Okay, maybe I need to go further to the left and activate something first. Oh, maybe that. Maybe I need to throw this. Can I have this? Please, please. Oh, come on. My entire life goals and ambition purely revolve around owning a walking stick that's twice as tall as I am. But never mind. I shall go back to disposing of the evidence of the homeowner's alcoholism, I suppose. Okay. So maybe this, maybe that big orange button up there isn't the button I'm supposed to hit. I'm meant to hit this little red one in here, and then that will activate that door, for example. Right. Please tell me this doesn't break if I miss. No, it doesn't. And we got it first time, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. Okay, let's go and see what's happened, what has changed over on the right. I wish that clock would shut up once in a while. Um, well, that's a pain in the arse. Never mind. Don't worry. I've got a plan. It's literally the first time in my life I've ever seen a situation like this and actually know what to do, but don't worry, I've got a plan. Right, turns out it was important that this doesn't break, and now I've now I've just impaled my feet on a thousand tiny pieces. Right, throw that, and then run. I'm gonna need to climb up here, and then up here, and then jump onto this, nearly fall off it, jump on here, and then slip under here like Indiana Jones. What an expert! Oh, No room with this amount of photographs in it is ever anything other than horrific. I didn't realise this was um I didn't realise this was a hole in the ground. Right, I should probably avoid that, shouldn't I? No, apparently I shouldn't. I like games with linear paths because it's harder for me to screw up. Harder for me to screw up royally and go the wrong way. What is up with your face? Why do you have an old Polaroid camera for a face? I'm about to get caught. Yes, I am. Well, I don't know where exactly the hell I was supposed to hide, but never mind. Yes, serious, serious little nightmares vibe off of this by a, by a huge, huge degree. Right, let's try that again. Where am I supposed to hide? I must be meant to hide somewhere. Was I meant to hide here, behind this box, and like crouch down, maybe? Like tuck myself into the corner? Or metaphase through the wall? Yeah, that would that, that would work as well. No, it wouldn't. Okay. Am I meant to run away? <laughs> I was under the distinct impression that I was meant to hide, let him pass me, and then I could, um... Then I could carry on behind you know, into that red room. Right, let me just try running away this time and see if I go all the way back, can I find anything? Yeah, he's definitely seen me now. Ah, yes, I was self-evidently meant to go this way. Never mind, I am fine. I have avoided the paparazzi. I uh, have not avoided finding a comfortable way to hold this keyboard. But never mind, we have more signs of alcoholism. Can I use this as a ladder? No, but I needn't because I could just go around it. Dearie me. I mean, I know I'm normally blind in, at the best of times, but I blame the haircut. Oh, hello again. Oh, goodness. Okay, right. I'm going to need to be sneaky. I don't know whether crouching makes me any quieter or not. I'm going to assume for the time being that it doesn't. Um. Oh goodness, he's seen me, he's seen me, and now I have been captured. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, okay. So I do need to be extremely careful, because these enemies 
are not stupid, unlike me. So I'm at a severe disadvantage. Never mind. I reckon I meant to go up. Because it looks like there's sort of like rafters I could climb up. So can I climb up here? No. Okay. I think... I think I want to go up onto the chair and then up onto the kitchen table. Do you like to leave? Oh, he doesn't have a camera for a head. He just has a camera instead of his eyes and nose. So I suppose like the flash bulb from the camera kind of makes eyes. And the, um... Like the extension of the, uh, of the, of the, of the tip, for want of a better word. And trust me, I want a better word than that to use in this scenario. Um... Oh, right. Stop grabbing me by the haircut, my friend. That's most uncouth. Um, right. <laughs> I got a little bit excited and kind of overshot. <laughs> right, let's not take that out of context. Okay. Let's try that again, and this time uh, be slightly less cretinous. Okay, so I need to be careful not to stand on noisy things. Because I stood on the broken glass and made noise and he found me. So I can manage this, I just need to be vaguely competent instead of extremely incompetent as I, uh, as I usually am. Okay, well, I'm going to have to jump to get on this bit now, aren't I? Gitty, oh that was well timed. Not my jump, I mean, you know, the tense bit of, tense bit of game. Right, can I move either of these boxes at all? No. I doubt I meant to just drop down that little gap, am I? I suppose so, I'll give it a try. Oh, I'm up here now. Exciting! I really think I'd take one of these knives and just stab him in the back of the brain. But, uh, never mind. I suppose I'm taking the pacifist route. I found the other slipper. What good fortune. I'll be able to, uh, be able to, um, keep my feet nice and equally warm. Wouldn't want to have unequally warm feet in this weird old world of ours, now would we? Right. What next? Other than more photographs of children that are almost definitely not the offspring of this. Well, I was going to say gentleman, but as I said previously, I think that would rather insult the um insult insult all those uh, accurately given the term right how about i accurately give myself a term like moron okay grab hold of the i mean it can't happen three times in a row that would just be ridiculous right <laughs> okay 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 to borrow a quote this isn't funny anymore it's just sad Okay, let me try holding the keyboard in a, in a different manner because this may this may work ever so slightly better. Right, it's it, it's going at this from the horizontal that isn't easy. If I was doing this from a vertical, it might be a bit easier. Right, let's scooch down here, which I think is meant to be like slowly and dramatically revealed. Except it can't because I've already fallen down three times and seen it. No mind. Can I jump off? Yes, I can. Good, because I don't want to go down too far. Right, let's... Oh yes, I'd forgotten this was still the blitz. Okay, let's, um, have a... Tra no, let's let's get our heads stuck in the ceiling. That's a little good plan. Let's just go down here. And see what we can find. Other than probably quite a lot of black mould, I imagine. Okay, that seems spiffingly fair. I don't get to just phase through walls, but you do, I suppose. And was I supposed to shut that door behind him? I get the distinct impression that may have been a good plan. But, um... <laughs> as ever, good plans are not something I am good at. Oh, goodness, I'm not supposed to go over those things. I'm supposed to go under them. What the hell just happened? I think I... Do you know what? I'm not even going to try and theorise. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to run the hell. Away. I'm a little confused how he's so able to jump over those, um... Can I shut this? 
No, no, I can't. I can just waste huge volumes of time and distinctly increase the likelihood of my death. Right, okay. I don't need to have my hand over the grabbing box, so let me just crouch down. There we go. How is he able to get over those... those... Her oh boy. How is he able to climb over those... Those, um, lockers with his walking stick, with his his rheumatoid arthritis. How precisely is he able to do that? But never mind, I'm not going to screw around with trying to shut the door this time, so this should give me a little tiny bit more um, of a lead. He's, he's surprisingly nimble. You know, for a, um, for an aged pensioner, with his old creaky bones, he's, uh, he's managing to keep a surprisingly good pace with me. Perhaps he used to be an Olympic runner. Oh, maybe I could have gone under that as well. Never mind. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I had a funny feeling that this mirror implied you were going to be, be here again. I'm racking my brains trying to think of another... Um, oh, goodness. Of another property which has a camera in it that's used to like capture people in photographs. I feel like that's a vaguely common concept that's appeared in a number of other bits of media, but I can't put my finger on any of them at the moment. I mean, there's Fatal Frame, of course, but that's more about killing people with a camera. Um, there's been one or two uh, horror movies with that idea as well. I think one was called Polaroid. Saw a few months. Oh, okay. So you're not coming out of the um, woodwork anymore. You're well. You. I mean, you are coming out of the woodwork. You're coming out of the doorway, um, rather than the mirrors. Yes, and that leads a lot of credence to the these pictures and the walls are creepy theory that we were rolling with before. Right. Let's head up here. All of these red rooms. These sort of Polaroid development areas. Oh, at last, a moment's respite from the from the horror. Good. Not a moment's respite from my incredibly hoarse voice. This is what I get. Okay, this is a little odd. Oh, okay. So the flash stuns me. Okay, that's interesting. It's a bit different. So I must avoid those for fear of um, being stunned by them. Which, of course, will slow down my ability to run away from certain strange-faced um, old people. Okay, there's three buttons here. Do I need to hit these all very quickly? Doesn't seem like I'm succeeding. Okay, I'm guessing there's a pattern I need to hit, maybe, that uh, that would allow this to make a bit more sense. Oh, goodness! What does stepping on these buttons do? That. I don't think that matters too much because surely I can just go around. Oh no, now it's going to go off like a million times, isn't it? Sorry, I've kicked your electricity bill through the roof. I know your government pension can't really, um, capacitate that much. Oh no, not again. Are you chasing me immediately? You know I'm here, don't you? Yeah, let's just not beat around the bush. You know I'm here. You, I know you're here. Let's just accept those facts and move on with our lives. That you've now gotten stuck on something. Good. That sounds to me like a bug, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to complain about this elevator door, however. Okay, 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 there must... Is it that button there? Yes. It's going to be that red button on the back wall there, but I need something to throw. There's a teddy bear there. I could throw that. Okay, I'm just going to have to put my finger on the sprint button and just hang on to it. Um... Take him on a little circuit. I'll grab the bear. Oh, no, no, no. Grab the bear. Grab the bear. Grab the, grab the bear. Not me, Agusasaurus. I know you haven't got any eyes, but I'm not a bear. <laughs> right, okay. Now I know what I'm actually doing. I have a chance of getting this. Oh, the bear wasn't actually meant to be in the... Um... 
The bear wasn't meant to be in the spotlight. The bear was meant to be in the background. But, um, you know, that's how show business works or something. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Let's go for another little dance around, shall we? <laughs> right, give me the bear. Give me the... No, don't give me the bear for crying out loud. <laughs> Just give me the bear. I don't guess he gets stunned by the lights, does he? Could I maybe use that as a strategy? Like, set that off on purpose in the hopes of, um... In the hopes of doing that? There we go. That's sorted. That. No. Okay, good. I, good. It matters whether I get caught by the flash, not by whether I, um... I just stand in it. Oh, no, 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 no! I have been flattened and turned monochrome. Not my usual fate. Right ho, let's try that again. So I do need to make sure I don't get hit by any of them, because if I get hit by any of them, I'll, um, I'll slow down. And then, and then, and then, do you know what? I'm just a rubbish throw, it would seem. I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure if him getting hit by those, I think it stuns him for like a moment, just long enough for this thing to fall out my ear again. Well, you gave me far longer that time than I had any right to have. You normally kill me much quicker than that. But never mind. Still didn't manage to escape. Kitty right. I just, I just need to get the bear thrown correctly on my first attempt. It's just difficult to line it up properly. Because the character is so far away. Would you pick up the freaking bear? Pick it up! Grasp the bear's little bear body and throw it against the wall. Thank you very much. Right, I am... I am... doing surprisingly well. <laughs> right, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. I was getting a little sick of that. And so probably were the audience. <sighs> right, okay. Just take a moment, breathe and enjoy life without that loon. <sighs> but don't worry, we've got a loon to replace him. A loon that... <laughs> Kitty <can't. sighs> oh, gosh. Right, let's try this again. And this time, when you jump off the rope, maybe try moving. Okay, let's... I need to go, like, sideways. I wasn't expecting you just to pirouette on the rope there, but I'm not going to, um... not going to judge you. Just going to be really confused. Do I need to go up there? There's like a shelf here I could get up to. Could I jump into that hole in the wall? Another ventilation shaft, perhaps? Yes. I hear some snoring. Has... This old shutter face gone to sleep. Someone's asleep. Whether that's cameraman or um or that's a machine gun. <laughs> that is a machine gun, and I just walked within a meter of its barrel. Okay. So I need to be careful here because I can't let any of these camera flashes go. Shh, 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 shh. Pick it up. P pick it. Pick. Pick the thing up! Oh, blast. Okay, and that didn't wake him? Okay. That surprises me. Um... Okay, right, let's just, let's just, let's just chuck everything around, why not? And then... And then we'll just arbitrarily change the gameplay mechanics and not tell the player. Right. Right. Never mind. It's fine. Let's try that again. Okay. So in an ideal world, I don't want to th knock things off. So I just need to sort of twist and turn between them. And not step on any of these buttons. Right. I thought I needed one of those bottles in order to throw it. Oh, for crying out loud. Good. I survived that one. Oh, for goodness sake. 
is not possible for somebody to be this stupid, but somehow I always manage it. Okay. Okay. There's no immediate and present danger. Let's just enjoy this moment of um, this moment of nothing trying to kill us. I'm quite impressed, however, that I've never stood on any of those, um... <laughs> Gosh, any of those little rat traps. Never mind, we've got a much worse type of trap in here. What's with the bathtubs? Oh yes, because you develop Polaroids by putting them in water, don't you? Most people use a sink. But then again, I guess this guy's on a more industrial scale. Oh dear. Am I to examine this one? Hmm? No? No? Oh, all right. then that, that, that seemed as if it was sort of leading up to something. But never mind. We'll just uh, dispose of more alcoholics evidence. Break this bottle and push this button and hear the wails of the forsaken. Oh well, I'm sorry for uh, I'm sorry for forsaken people, but I've got slightly bigger problems to deal with right now than you. How do your aged old shins survive being survive being rasped by all that barbed wire? Okay, why are there so many guns around? Why do I get the distinct impression this man is a war veteran? And why if you would just go up? It's, it's a very common thing in these platformers where to go up ladders, you need to press up, which is kind of like backwards, so like going into the screen, or out of the screen, I suppose. Whichever way around it is, I don't know. To go up ladders, which is kind of like counterintuitive to my empty brain. Never mind, let's just dodge all of the guns, and you know, just dodge the progression as well. Yeah, let's dodge all of that, you know, because we want to progress and succeed and, you know, be vaguely successful in games or on the internet. I can also hear gunfire outside, like machine guns and stuff going on outside, which implies we might be in a war zone, which I wouldn't have expected if we were just in, like, London during the Blitz, because of course that didn't involve any um, infantry warfare in London, unless I've gone completely mad and entirely forgotten how the Second World War went, which is quite possible, but considering I can't even remember what I had for dinner yesterday. Which is probably because I don't think I actually had dinner yesterday. Um, right. But yes, it seems that there are many wars being fought. There's one being fought out there between the forces of good and evil, and there's one being fought in here between the forces of well. Scared and perverted, it would seem. Those would seem to be the forces that we're fighting in here. Right, let's jump over those bits of glass. And run towards the um the the, the Messerschmitt that seems to have crashed into the wall. Oh dear, right, where are you gonna put him back to? Here, that's fine. Okay, right. I think I need to be careful about which boxes I jump onto, because I want to kind of just jump. I want I want to jump, not fall, would be a freaking brilliant beginning. Yes, I want to just like jump over a gap, not have to jump and then grab, because jumping and grabbing is slow. And every single time I jump over that gap, you don't jump. And I don't wish to be mean to you, for you're a very small person, but still, could you stop doing that? Right, I just need to jump much earlier, like, like unreasonably earlier. Let's just, let's just, let's just run and gun and hope for it. Yay! Success has been enjoyed. For the first time in my life. Gosh. Is he just constantly reappearing out of them, or are many, many clones of him appearing? Oh, goodness. Oh, I thought we were going to have one of those scenes from a cartoon when somebody falls down a drain pipe and then the drain pipe kind of bounces as they hit into various different corners because that's how metal works. Never mind, we're not here to discuss cartoon physics. We are here to escape, I think, I hope. Probably not. 
absolutely typical that it's not the enemy that prevents me from escaping, it's my own cretinous stupidity. Oh well, never mind. It's also the person on the other other side of this window being very rude. Never mind. Um, now what? Really dramatic, spooky music. I'm going to hide behind here. No, I'm not. Eventually, I'm going to hide behind here. Right. I am now well hidden. Gideon. I don't wish to be insensitive, sensitive, sir, but I think it is about time you lose a bit of weight. Oh! That is that. And that is the name of the game, if I mispronounced it at the beginning. Which, of course I did, because I mispronounced everything. Frankly, it's a small miracle I can pronounce my own name correctly. Which is kind of a weird irony, given that I can't pronounce anything in the English language correctly, and yet nobody in this country can pronounce my name correctly. Anyway, that was really nice. That was actually really good, despite my, you know, <laughs> despite me being rubbish at it, and me getting occasionally slightly frustrated at it, that was really nice, actually. It very much like Little Nightmares, it didn't bog itself down with any story. It just gave you a fun little platforming mechanic, beautiful little environments, and a bit of mystery told to you in images, and uh, that kind of thing, which is it's just really nice. And it has really weird enemy design, which is nice, but um, yeah, that was really good. That was really, really fun. I really rather enjoyed that. A nice little change from the normal sort of... Uh, normal sorts of stuff that we do so that was very enjoyable i hope you enjoyed it as well thank you very much for joining this evening ladies and gentlemen look after each other and good night <laughs>